Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to um, print or put multiple images onto one file. Uh, this is a great way to uh, show somebody all of the pictures that you've taken for a project. In this case here I'm in the folder in Bridge. I've got my content window open and I'm going to select all of these pictures here. Um, I could also go edit select all or you can see there the, the shortcut key is command a so if i hit command a on the keyboard it would select all of those the next thing i go here is to tools and then photoshop and i go to image processor nope never mind you're gonna go to contact sheet 2. i'm used to going to image processor for something else you're gonna go to contact sheet 2. click on contact sheet 2 and then we're gonna go and confirm a couple of these settings in the source images here we're going to use the images that we already selected. It says 43 files selected. Good to go there. The document should be defaulted to these, but double check that your window looks like this. Inches, 8 by 10, 300 pixels per inch, flatten all layers, RGB color, 8-bit, and then the color profile. And then in the thumbnails here, we're going to choose across first, use auto spacing, and we're going to go three columns, five rows, and rotate for best fit. And this should be unchecked in terms of the, we don't want a file name here, so we don't need to use the file name as the caption. Finally, we click OK, see what happens. And it's going to take a little while. Uh, it's going to open up each of those files, 1 through 15, because there's three columns and five rows, so that's 15 pictures. It's going to take 15 pictures and put it up here. You can see it says Contact Sheet 1. And what it's going to do, it's actually going to make one file for each page. Instead of making it um, the same file, it's going to make one file for each page. So in this case, there, you know, I don't, I don't actually, 43, I, I, I guess there were 43 images. So um, there should be, I guess, um, three contact sheets. Am I doing my math right? Yes, there should be three contact sheets because 45 would be exactly filling three pages. So it might take a little while. Once it's done, I'll show you how to save them. All right, so here we go. That looks pretty good. The spacing looks pretty good here. You can see um, three by five works pretty good, and, and I can see all of these images. Um, and there is a way to save this as one file. So you have three open things here in the tab. If I click, there's three open sheets. Um, what I can do is go File. All right, I had to pause there because I had to figure out how to save this, but here's what you're going to do. Right now we have three open files, and we want to save all of the open files into one file. So we go to File, Automate, and then PDF Presentation. We're going to go ahead and click Add Open Files, and you can see Contact Sheet 1, 2, 3. And those are the names of the files, auto-generated names that um, are up there. We're going to save as a multi-page document. And uh, background white, doesn't matter. We're going to uncheck all of these. We don't want any of these checked. And then we click Save. It's going to um, ask us where we want to save it. And in this case, I'm just going to go um, to the folder that this is in. In this case, uh, my Google Drive. I have to go to Bridge, actually, to remember where this was saved. OK, this was Google Drive. Photo to rules one, rules two. This was rules two. So anyway, I'm going to go back to Photoshop now. All right, so I go to Google Drive, photo two, rules two. Okay, and then I'm going to rename it. And I rename it last name, underscore first name, underscore uh, period. And then the assignment, this is rules to contact sheet. And then save. Okay. It's, there's another thing that's going to pop up here. I want to go up here to high quality print and click on that. And then save PDF. Now this process may actually take a while to actually generate the PDF. Uh, this went pretty quick for me, but for you it might take a little bit longer. And then if we go back to bridge here, you can see here is my PDF, and if I click through these arrows here, it's one file, and it's three pages. And that's how you're going to make a contact sheet, and then save it as a multi-page PDF.